Hey there. It's a chilly, drizzly kind of December day here in South Carolina. Welcome to a, another episode of Two Blues Licks in Five Minutes. Before we sail into the Bay of Pentonic Form 1, Form 2, the Bay of Pentonic, the sound, the pentonic sound. It's a good time to take a pause and, and drop anchor. Take a pause. That's all that guy does is pause, pause, pause. Aside from him rambling on, oh my God. It's a good time to ask ourselves where are we at? How do we see this? Form one, form two. And where do we go from here? Remember, where you are is not always where you think you are. It's good to take a pause. I like, when I pause during the day, um, I like to sit outside if it's a nice day with a nice hot cup of tea. Um, I do. It's, it's just, let's, you have to, it's good to take, take time, relax, take a pause in life. I, um, I advise it for everybody. Uh, we all need to take a pause. It's a good idea. And maybe, we can talk about some tips, some tricks, and some secrets. Secrets. Kung Fu Master, never give away all secrets. Now, I like tricks. I hear the word tricks and I think of tricks cereal. It's one of my favorite cereals. In fact, I'm not even sure if it's still in the cereal aisle at the grocery store, but I like tricks. Let me go get a cup of tea. Oh, did he say secrets? Are we gonna be talking about the Hardy Boys? Oh, I love those books. The secrets. Oh. Speaking of secrets, I can tell you that that Ivan, he doesn't talk much. I bet he's keeping a lot of secrets. I said, fuba. The pentonic sound, the Bay of Pentonic, Pentonic River, the Sea of Pentonic. I, I taught English. 101 at the university. I also taught a creative writing 300 level class. And I know, I know Mr. Begg, um, he knows what he's talking about usually, but he's totally mispronouncing pentatonic. He continually says pentonic, pentonic. I've heard him say, I've heard him say Gin tonic, gin tonic, instead of gin and tonic. I don't get it. I mean, he should, he's trying to convey a lesson here and teach, teach some, some valuable, you know, tools that you can use in playing the scales. But he's, he's mispronouncing pentatonic. So let me make a correction for you, you all. Pentatonic. Pentatonic. Can you say that? Pentatonic. Now, we'll see if he gets it right later in the video. But up until this point, I think he's, he's mispronounced pentatonic every time he says the word. Maybe he didn't have enough coffee or something, or... I know D-Man always is talking about him get, drinking strange Kool-Aid. I don't know. Well, be, before we move on to Form 3, Let's, let's take a look at Form 1, which we've looked at already. Um, let's take a, a deeper dive into it, break it apart maybe. 
and we've got form two. So we've got these, these two patterns sitting next to each other. They're connected too. And a lot of times guitar players just, just look at them. They see, they see this form one as that entire group of notes. Um, I'd like to suggest a different way to look at form one and form two. Uh, you can see it as a whole like that, but let's just take, uh, just take uh, the form one and form two, and let's look at the, the one, one, four, five chords and, and chunks of, of the scale in relation to the chords, maybe, maybe is that, that's the right way to put it. Um, let's just take a look at these chords, the one, four, five, the G, the C, the D, since we're looking at G minor pentatonic, and let's, let's break it apart a little. Rather than seeing form one as that entire box, let's take a look at the one, four, five. Let's take a look at G first, which is our one, our root. And I hope, hope you all can see the guitar clearly. It's, it's difficult sometimes in this room to get the proper lighting and um, the light folks, they got the day off makeup. They're not even here, that's too early in, in the afternoon for them. Um, take the G, let's take the G. And let's look at the G to G right there. Rather than look at all this up here, just take these six notes, okay? Think of that as a little box. So it's kind of like a sub box within our full form one. And it is a one, a big stretch, to a pinky, and then one, three, one, three, one, three, to come back to the G. So you got G, B flat, C, D, F, G. Beltron's barking. The cool thing about this pattern is, this box, and the cool thing about the pentatonic scales and other scales is, they repeat, okay? So we've got a G here on the D string, fifth fret. Do the big stretch, one to four, okay? Then one to three. And we've got a shift up on our B string. And another one, three. So you've got... It's another mini box. And this one happens to be in form two. So you've got a little box and another little box. G to G in the pentonic scale in form one and form two. So that covers a couple of mini boxes in G. G to G and G to G in form two. Let's look at the four chord which is our C within form one and form two in G minor pentatonic. Starting with a C, we'll do another mini box. This is off of the A string. C to D, F to G, B flat to C. Again, we're going to octaves here. Six notes, so we go right up the scale. Again, it's a sub box within our big form one. And we've got another C up here on the G string. Let's try to get that so you can see it. So, C, same exact pattern. These are one, the index finger to the ring finger. We've got C, D, and then we slide up on the B string one, one fret. Okay. And if you look right here, this little box and out of 
out of form two that includes the that BB King little box that we had talked about before, I think in maybe the last episode. Um, whatever that riff was, uh, the lick. That was it. So we've got two C to C boxes in form one and form two here. So now we've got a one, we've got the four, and let's move up to the five, this D chord, and it's a D minor, and let's, let's see what kind of mini boxes um, that we have here, uh, as far as starting with a D note, right here. And we've got a one to a pinky, one to four. Stretch, two of them, followed by, so we've got D to F, G to B flat, C to D. Again, covering an octave. Okay, so this is out of form two. Um, we can't, we've got, we've got a D over here in form one. We've got the first half of that, but we've run out of strings vertically. Okay, and these, these are really a vertical view of, of the strings here. So let's ignore this D for right now. You've got, you've got a chunk of the box, right? So we, we can keep that in, in our mind too, as far as these sub boxes go. And if we wanted to extend it, okay, and we're up to the next D. That's going horizontal on the string. And I'll talk about that in a GIF too here. So we've got these, our one, four, five, and we've got these little sub boxes. Important thing to know that I might've mentioned already is that they repeat, okay? So if you've got this on a C, let's take the G. We move it up to form two, to this G as a root. The same pattern repeats, the same stretches on the fingers, the number of frets, okay? We're going uh, one and a half frets, or, or whole steps, I should say. And here we're going a whole step. Okay? So you've got one and a half whole steps, a whole step, and a whole step. That's gonna repeat. If you don't even know anything about the forms, You've got those stretches, those frets in your head in a starting note. Here's a G up here. The big four strets, big four stretch, slide it up and do one to three. It's the same pattern. Same notes, just in a different octave. And you're in a different form, really. We'll get to that further down the road. I guess I guess the tip, the the tip really, or the trick, if you want to call it that, is don't always view these pentatonic forms. Uh, don't always view them as the big picture. Look at look at the smaller picture sometimes. Pick pick them apart, and look for other patterns, not just the full pattern. And and what we just talked about were were smaller sub chunks. <laughs> that you can keep in your in your toolbox rather than rather than bringing out that full scale bring in a smaller chunk remember if you do take pause do Remember, if you do pause during day to relax, make sure to hear birds sing. <sighs> Aside from that 
E flat there, that was Stairway to Heaven in form one. And Stairway to Heaven sounds kind of like this too. Um, Our old La Salle ran great, those were the days. Right out of the G, G minor pentatonic. I don't know what, what key the those were the days is in, but it's very similar to Stairway to Heaven uh, notes right out, right out of G pentatonic when we're playing it here. Stairway to Heaven's in up in A minor too, so. Um, I don't know what all was in his Kool-Aid this morning, but... Cheese and crackers. 